Hello and welcome to the video. This is a short video that has been made to give some inspiration to home brewers to maximise on their isolation experience during this coronavirus period. As I see it, there are always ways to turn a negative into a positive, so here are my project suggestions for home brewers during this time. First on my list is going to be either write more or start writing your own recipes. A great place to start is with single malt and single hop, or smash beers as they are known. But I have recipe writing guides to many styles on my channel already, including smash and more styles being added every month. So what are you waiting for? With some practice and experience, you'll be well on the way to making imperfect beers to suit your own taste. I mean, really, what could be better? Brewers make wort and yeast makes beer, so why not try yeast blending? You will achieve very unique results. It is suggested that you start by simply blending two different yeast types together first. A couple of selection ideas to get you started are as follows. Identify a yeast type that you enjoy the flavour of but lacks alcohol tolerance or perhaps something else like attenuation rate. Blend the two for the best of both worlds. Or simply identify two different types of yeast that you actually enjoy the flavours of that you feel would work very well together. To start with, I tend to ferment these in small batches first and I'm always sure to re-harvest the result for future use. Why not put together a brewing plan for the rest of the year? This can begin with looking at how much beer you need for yourself and others that drink your beer, so that you now know how much you should produce. Then look at the seasons and the beers you want to have available depending on the season. From this information you can organise your calendar with reminders of when you need to brew each beer to meet your needs and expectations. Be sure to take into consideration conditioning times, and you will have ready conditioned beer to meet your needs at all times. Why not start reharvesting your own yeast? I have guides on this and more on my channel. This can be pretty time consuming at first, but once you have a stock of the most common yeast types that you use, then you just need to do quick maintenance either during or after each fermentation to keep stock levels moving. How about trying quake yeast if you have not done so before now, or simply try some new and different types of quake? It is easier to obtain now than ever, with both commercial liquid and dry versions available. Quake will give you super fast fermentation times along with super fast conditioning times. This makes it a top choice for fast turnaround beer with no compromises and thus is ideal for the isolation period being experienced around the world right now and beyond. Brew something big and strong. I have guides on my channel that will help you cover the process as well as the different types of strong beers that you can go for. Big certainly can mean beautiful and if using regular yeast then you will have yourself a nice long term project. If you use quake yeast then this could be ready to drink in 4-6 to six weeks. Why not try both and see what you prefer? Brew something different. If you have not tried raw brewing yet, then go for it. I have many videos that cover various aspects of this type of brewing, as well as guides to hybrid styles that I suspect many have never tried before. You never know, you may discover a new favourite. Last but by no means least, look at new ways that you can improve your end results. This could be from improving your brewing water to understanding the various processes better. Brewers have been on hot pursuit of the perfect resulting beer, so what better thing to do while you have the spare time than do some research into improving your techniques and beyond. Your investment in time now will pay dividends in your end beers of the future. I do hope that you found these ideas inspiring. Please do let me know in the comments section of the video. Also, if you have any suggestions for other projects, then please do share them in the comments section for the benefit of all others. Keeping busy at home will certainly make the isolation time go happier and smoother during this difficult time. Many thanks to all of you that have sent me well wishes, they have been very much appreciated. I have a good idea that I may have had a mild dose of the virus around one month ago, and thankfully it did not last long. I am playing it safe and I am working from home as always. Please do keep yourself and those around you safe and let us all look forward to things going back to normal. This YouTube channel's Facebook group is expanding very well with almost 4,500 members at this point. If you have not yet joined then you can find it by using one of the two methods shown on screen. It is a friendly, fun and informative group with people of all experience levels. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. 
If appropriate, then please like this video on YouTube, and if you've not done so already, then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!